Working on the rhomboids from the spider's process to the medial border of the scapula, slightly similar to the lats, we are going to palpate through this area and try to find that position of pain. Once we found that position of pain on the patient, we can apply gentle pressure. And then you'll see I have the patient's hand just resting gently on their side. If they can tolerate it, we could place their hand slightly behind their back, just exposing that medial border of the scapula. From here, we can then shorten the muscle by stabilizing the shoulder and then find that position where the patient eases off. By controlling the GH or the glenohumeral joint, I can apply some movement of the shoulder girdle in different positions. Once we've found that position of ease, we can then just reduce the pressure and let the patient relax. They can focus on their breathing and we can hold them in this position for 30, 60, 90 seconds. Once that has eased off, this is a great opportunity whereby we can now pin and add some gentle scapular thoracic work. We can take the shoulder and we can apply gentle pressure, exposing the medial border, pick it up, and again, some slow circumduction. We can pin and stretch across the opposite side contralaterally. We could even work through the shoulder from various different positions, from traction, circumduction, and we could stretch the shoulder girdle out, applying more pressure onto the scapula, and pin and stretch with some soft tissue techniques. Don't forget to work into the cervical and the cervical erectors and down towards the QL or the lumbar erectors as part of this treatment process.